If you're among the thousands likely to flock to Idaho or Wyoming for the Great American Eclipse on August 21st, be prepared to do a lot of things the old-fashioned way. As science and nature specialist John Hollenhorst reports, you might need paper money and folding maps instead of credit cards and cell phones. The annual cowboy parade proves this is more than just a one-horse town, but Dubois, Wyoming is tiny, and despite the mayor's happy wave, she's worried about the days surrounding August 21st. The estimates of the crowds we're supposed to have are scary. The annual pioneer celebration in Dubois features old-fashioned technology, but in the days surrounding the eclipse, modern technology might be what people will be talking about. We know the cell phones will go down. Millions of people are likely to travel into the narrow zone coast to coast where the total eclipse is actually visible. There's no question almost all of them will be using cell phones. Cell networks could get overloaded. Some may go down possibly for days. In Jackson, Wyoming, no one knows how big a problem it will be for travelers from, say, Utah. I mean, we're telling people definitely to plan on not having communications. Um, it's, it's one thing to kind of consider. It's a backup plan. It's a good plan to have. Here in eastern Idaho, it's considered a virtual certainty that the cell phones will go down. That's exactly what happened a year ago when the cell phones got overloaded during a wildfire. Uh, we anticipate the cell phone coverage to uh, die and uh, because there's just going to be too many people. Could ATMs also go down? And what else could fail? Well, the Internet could go down for all of the stores that run credit cards. The Eastern Idaho Public Health Agency is warning visitors from other states like Utah to be ready for electronic disruption. Be prepared uh, to be able to take care of yourself. Have your own maps, maybe a hard copy. We suggest cash. Cash is, is going to be the go-to. Some business people think the worries are overblown and predict that disruptions on August 21st won't be serious. No, no, the only thing I'm worried about is running out of ice and that's going to happen probably about 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> One bit of modern technology may work all too well for some people. Automatic street lights. In many towns, they'll turn on by themselves during the total eclipse and possibly dampen the spectacle of daytime darkness. We have about 225 lights that are going to come on once it gets dark out. Is that going to be a problem? I don't really think it is. Well, it's kind of a big deal, but uh, they can't turn them off. They would have to go through and turn each one individually off because they're a photo cell. As the saying goes, this too shall pass. In two minutes or so, the sun will come back and the street lights will go out. John Hollenhorst, KSL 5 News, Jackson, Wyoming. It's a pretty big deal, as we've been reporting, and it's worth emphasizing again, you won't be able to see a total eclipse here in Utah. It'll be 91% in Salt Lake. See the real thing, the closest place around is Idaho Falls. And you can find more information about the eclipse at ksl.com eclipse. Next.